Good day. I'm Dick Johnson, lead pastor at St. Luke's Lutheran Church in Park Ridge, Illinois, and um, continuing our uh, weekly conversations with the congregation uh, regarding what's going on here at St. Luke's this week, and um, hope that uh, you will take note and uh, will join us with some of the activities that are taking place. This Saturday morning at um, 10 a.m., uh, we are having a Sunday School Zoom um, opportunity to be with the kids, to be with me and uh, Ms. Kim Hendy, our uh, Sunday School Superintendent. And uh, we will be sending out an a, um, invitation uh, to all of our students. If you would like to be invited to that, uh, please don't hesitate to give me a, a, send me an email and we will send out an invitation uh, to that. This week we are going to be playing Bible Bingo. Um, I have found this new game that we can play um, online. I think it should be a lot of fun and looking forward to having our kids have some fun and some prizes and all kinds of fun things. So if you're interested in playing Bible Bingo with us live on Saturday, October the 3rd, uh, we'll start at 10 a.m. Usually we go from about 10 till about 10, 20, 10, 30. So we look forward to seeing you. On Saturday, we are also uh, having an activity here at the church for our green team. St. Luke's will be taking out a strip of daylilies on the north parking lot in preparation for preparing a pollination strip uh, to support butterflies, bees, moths, and other in, um, insects next year. All ages are welcome this Saturday, October the 3rd, beginning at 1030 in the north parking lot. Uh, we'll be done approximately 1230. If it rains, uh, we are postponing uh, this activity until October the 17th. Bring a mask, shovel, gloves, your own drinks, um, and yard waste bags if you have them. We will spread out socially distance and we can get uh, a lot of this work done. So we look forward to having you help us with that. If you have any questions at all, please contact Cindy Grout. We do also want to remind you that this month is the crop walk. Uh, this year we are doing a virtual crop walk, which means that everyone is invited to walk their own 5 or 10K, not as a group, but um, individually. Um, you also uh, get sponsorships. Uh, you can fill out a crop form, which are available in the church office. Uh, those are available from uh, 10 till 2 o'clock each day in the church office or on Sunday mornings. They would also be available uh, during our in-person worship experience. Um, and then you turn the money over uh, to the crop uh, organization and um, that is the way we're going to be doing it this year uh, to be safe. Um, Ken Shoy again is in charge of the crop walk this year so if you have any questions please direct them to Ken Shoy. This Sunday, October the 4th, uh, we will be having in-person worship um, out in front of the church uh, beginning at 10 o'clock. If you have mobility issues or need to park close to uh, Cedar Avenue, uh, we welcome you to park in our south parking lot. But please note that we do close that parking lot at about 5 to 10 uh, because there are people that are sitting out there and we just don't think it's a good idea to have moving vehicles and people in the parking lot at the same time. And then that parking lot will be reopened uh, immediately following worship for you to get out of the uh, parking lot. Uh, there's plenty of parking around of the church as well as in the south, in the north parking lot, uh, which is on the other side of the church. Uh, we look forward to seeing you on Sunday. Um, if there is a, if it's inclement weather, uh, we will call it and we will send out an email uh, seven o'clock in the morning. Uh, this week there is a chance of rain and it should be around 55 degrees. As long as it's not raining, uh, we plan to have the service. So if it's a little bit chillier, just wear a couple of more warm wraps and come out and join us. Uh, either bring your own chair, uh, or we do have lawn chairs, bring your own communion elements, or we do have elements here as well. So we look forward to seeing you uh, this Sunday, October the 4th. We do also want to share with you some really, really good news. Um, a daughter of St. Luke's, Pastor Anne Edison Albright and her family um, are celebrating as Anne was elected bishop of the East Central Synod of Wisconsin 
of the Evangelical Lutheran Church of America last Saturday at their virtual assembly. Anne is the daughter of former, former members Paul and Sue Edison Swift. She was confirmed at St. Luke's in 1995. She received her BA in English and Journalism from Michigan State University. She received an MDiv, a uh, Master of Divinity degree from Yale Divinity School in 2008. She served at, as Redeem, at Redeemer Lutheran Church in Stevens Point, Wisconsin, and then is currently the Director of College Ministries and the College Pastor at Luther College in Decorah, Iowa, and that has been since 19, uh, 2016. Uh, the synod office uh, for this uh, synod is located in Appleton, Wisconsin, and that will be, will be where they are going to be moving to. And it really encompasses um, all the eastern half of Wisconsin, Green Bay, Door County area, and then follows down all the way through the um, Wisconsin River Valley uh, to Green Lake and a little bit farther south of that. So it's a very large synod, um, and uh, we are just so ecstatic for her family and her friends um, at this election. Uh, so we want you to be aware of that. Finally, uh, we want to remind you that as we move into autumn, eventually the weather is gonna be changing and we're not gonna be able, uh, because of the challenging weather, not to be able to have in-person uh, outside worship on Sundays. So we are looking uh, for your input and direction, your thoughts and your feelings, about um, doing in-person, inside worship. Uh, we have sent out a survey uh, a week ago Monday. We sent that out. Uh, we also sent out paper copies to a lot of our folks who don't receive email. Um, but we just want to urge and encourage you, if you have not received the survey or if you have received it and haven't completed it, we would encourage you to complete it by Sunday evening of this week. Uh, that would be October the 4th. Um, we will be compiling all of the results and then getting back with you with our reflections on these results and um, what we are planning and doing in terms of in-person worship. So please be aware of that. Uh, we would love to get your input. We've already received 175 surveys, uh, so we've received a, a whole lot already. We look forward to uh, receiving a few more. Um, and so if you have not had the chance to do so, please do it by Sunday night. You can go online, you can go on our website, um, or you can contact the church office and you can get a um, paper form that you can fill out there. That's what we have for this week. Uh, thank you so very much for all of your attention and kindness uh, that you continue to afford St. Luke's. Uh, we are sending out our third quarter giving statements this week so you should receive them in the mail at the end of this week or the beginning of next week. Um, take a look at that. Uh, we are thankful for your your faithful giving. Uh, we are about $60,000 behind uh, in terms of expenses to income at this time, which is very typical uh, for this time of the year, uh, whether it be in a COVID year like ours or in years previous. Uh, but it's very important that we make those make those dollars up as we get closer to the um, holiday season and the end of the year. So uh, take a look at that, see what you can do to help us out if you can. Um, just know that our, our thankfulness is complete. Um, we are just very thankful for your love, for your care, and your continued support uh, during these difficult days. You have a great day, um, and we will be in touch with you next week.